An easy way to do this is to select our green screen layer and hit S. There we get a scale option and we can just drag him down a little bit. A little bit more right there. All right, let's go ahead and position him where we want him. We don't want him anywhere. Right there. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Too big. All right, cool. Now that we've scaled him down and basically have him in position, we're going to grab a whip right here, and we're going to drag it into our null layer. That way, it's going to use all the information in our null layer, which is our motion tracking information. And now, if done correctly, it will use it. But let's see what we did wrong. Back to frame one. There we go. That's better. You can see it's tracking pretty good now. If we hit play. We'll need to create a mask to hide his legs right here. But now that our motion is pretty good, we can move on. Now, it wasn't until, I'd say, a couple seconds into it that he actually starts moving around and destroying stuff. So, we're going to trim our green screen video a little bit. We'll move it up here and drag it back. There he goes. Rawr! Smash! Classic. Cool. All right. Now that we have him in place, let's go ahead and apply a mask so that we can crop out these legs and make him actually look like he's behind this building. To do that, let's create a shape layer by right clicking down here, clicking new, and select shape layer. The shape layer selected, let's zoom in. And we're going to hide the green screen layer or the giant layer by clicking on this little eyeball. We can toggle its visibility. So let's hide him for a while. Ugh, feels so much better with him gone, doesn't it? All right, let's create a shape around this building that will actually mask out the legs. So we'll start here by using our pen tool. We'll just create a real basic shape. Got away from me. Connect the shape. Very good. That's basically all we have to do. Now let's toggle the visibility on the green screen video again. With our shape layer drawn, we need to click on toggle switches mode to make sure that you can see the track mat options. Under the track mat options of our green screen comp, Let's set it to alpha inverted map of our shape layer one. With that selected, you can see that it will mask out the legs, the bottom part of his legs. So now he looks like he's actually behind the building. Starting starting to look pretty cool. Okay, so we can see that even though it's parented to our null object, our shape layer isn't necessarily perfect. It doesn't quite stay where it should be. You can see it starts to raise up here. Now, an easy way to fix this is actually go frame by frame. And you should go frame by frame with anything you're doing in After Effects if you want to get a really, really solid effect. If we're going to go frame by frame and actually adjust this shape layer let's click the drop down here transform and let's make sure our position our stopwatch on our position is toggled right here 
To go frame by frame in After Effects, hit the page up or page down to go backwards or forwards in the timeline. So we'll just keep typing page up until we see a problem. See right here it starts to race, so we'll hit page up and we'll just go ahead and uh, hit the down arrow key and move this little guy down. And that might be enough. Oh, oh let's move it back down a little bit right here. Try to get it as perfect as possible. You may have to actually redraw. Use these points that you drew earlier to get a more perfect shape. And see, this is pretty good already. We're getting a really good effect. If we were to go any further, we would make sure that that shape layer is perfect against the building. We want to get it as realistic as possible. Uh, and you can do that really, really well here in After Effects. Really, the sky is the limit. Just the limit. So let's watch the finished video one more time. Go. Hi, I'm Willis Savvy with ForestHillStudios.com. And in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to create a... Smash! Joe, man, what's going on? I thought we were going to do this tutorial. Smash! Joe. Oh. One more time. Smash! Smash. Smash. That's right. There will be more tutorials here on ForestHillStudios.com. You can expect some pretty awesome things. If you have any tutorial ideas, send them our way. Post it here on the blog or Facebook or YouTube, wherever you see this super amazing video. Let us know what you want to see. If you have any questions, just ask us. Um, chances are, Willie will be destroying your town very soon. If he hasn't destroyed your town yet, he will. Trust me. So we've accomplished this pretty cool effect by using our green screen, keying effects, motion tracking, and shape layer masks. Pretty simple, pretty cool, pretty awesome.